Okay, in today's video, I'm gonna go over the basics of voltage, current, and resistance. And I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail, but I'm gonna go over the definitions, the abbreviations, the units, and the abbreviations for the units and how we kind of write these things down so that when we speak the language of electric circuits for parallel and series resistors and capacitors, we can all be talking about the same thing and using the same terms and know what we're talking about. So voltage, voltage is simply a measure of the electric potential energy per unit of charge. Now that might sound a little complicated, but really voltage is just the amount of energy that's given to the electrons in a circuit. Okay, but officially it's electric potential energy per unit of charge. When you plug something into the wall or when you attach something to a battery, you're giving the electrons energy and you're giving them potential energy because that energy can then be used to light a light bulb, to make toast, to either turn the hair dryer on or to be used to do work. Okay, so it's just electric potential energy, potential energy, just like gravitational potential energy. When you lift something up, you're giving it the potential to do work. All right, and it's the amount of energy per unit of charge. Voltage, energy. Okay, the symbol for the volt is a V. Makes sense. The metric unit for voltage is the volt, and the abbreviation for that metric unit is also a V. So that one's pretty straightforward. It's just V, volt, and V. Now, what is one volt or what is a volt? Usually when we talk about a volt, we say one volt is equal to one joule of electric potential energy per coulomb of charge. And we would write that down like this. One volt is equal to one joule per coulomb. It's one joule of energy per coulomb of charge. Now, a joule is a measure of the amount of energy. A coulomb is a measure of the basic unit of charge. I'm not gonna go into what joules are and coulombs are in detail, we can do that in another video, but suffice to say that one volt is one joule or one kind of unit of energy for every unit of charge. All right, when we write that down, we might write down the voltage is equal to 12 volts, and we could shorten that to say V equals 12 V, but you would still read that, oh, the voltage of that thing is 12 volts. So voltage, electric potential energy. Current, okay, current is what flows through the circuit. It's the flow of electrons through a circuit, just like water is the flow, excuse me, just like yeah, water is what flows through a stream or through the pipes in our house. Current is what flows through a circuit and that is electrons that are flowing through a circuit. Okay, and more specifically, we would say that current, this is kind of a textbook definition, is the rate of flow of charge past a given point in an electric circuit. Now this says rate of flow of charge. Rate introduces the, the time term or the time factor to this definition. So it's the amount of charge that's flowing past a given point in a unit of time. And usually that unit of time is the second and the unit of charge is the coulomb. So it's coulombs per second. So it's the amount of charge flowing past a given point every second. The symbol for the current is I. It's not C. C, I think, is, well, C, I know, is the speed of light, and that's probably why it's not C. C, and the current symbol is I. The metric unit is the ampere, and sometimes we shorten that to say the amp, but the official abbreviation for the ampere is an A. So this is I, ampere, or amp, and then A is the official abbreviation. Well, what is one amp? One amp is equal to one coulomb of charge flowing past a point every second. Okay, we would write that down like this. One amp equals one coulomb per second. Now, I'm not gonna go into a big production here about what a coulomb is. We can do that in another video, but you should just have a general idea that an amp is the amount of current, one unit of current, excuse me, one unit of charge flowing past a given point every second. And we'd write that down like this. For example, the current is equal to 1.75 amps. So that's 1.75 coulombs of charge flowing past a point every second. Or we would just write down I equals 1.75A, but still we would read that current equals, the current is 1.75 amps, okay? Current flow of electrons, flow of charge past a given point in a circuit. Okay, now resistance. Resistance is kind of hard to come up with a definition for resistance because resistors actually kind of do something it's not really a thing, so to speak, but resistance is the hindrance of char a flow through a, the flow of charge. 
And a lot of times people just say, well, really what do resistors we do? Resistors re re um, resist the flow of charge. So that's kind of the definition that uh, I found when I looked up a kind of a good definition in a textbook. Resistance is the hindrance to the flow of charge. But really, we often say, what do resistors do? Well, resistors resist the flow of charge. Or they're trying to slow down the flow of charge, or they're trying to keep the charge from flowing through a particular object. OK, and if you look at more of a textbook definition, the ratio, the resistance is the ratio of the voltage applied to the current through an electric circuit, which we get this kind of um, equation from, but this is really just Ohm's law, so it doesn't really help us give us an understanding. It's just resistance is the ratio of the voltage to the current. Okay, so resistors resist the flow of charge, and resistance is the resistance of charge. The symbol for a resistor is R. Okay, so resistance has the symbol R. The metric unit for resistance is the ohm, and the abbreviation for that is this funny-looking thing, which is the Greek letter omega. So that's R, ohm, and omega. And when we write that down, we would write down that the resistance is equal to 500 ohms, for example, or you would write down R equals 500 omega, and you still would read that R equals the resistance is equal to 500 ohms. Okay, so that is voltage current and resistance. And then I just made this final table to kind of sum everything up. The voltage, the abbreviation for voltage or the symbol is a V. The unit is the volt. The abbreviation for the unit is the V. And we might write that down. Voltage equals 9 volts. Current, the current is equal to, well, not the current is equal to, but the abbreviation for current is I. The unit is the ampere. The abbreviation for the unit is an A. And we read this, the current is equal to 1.5 amps. Resistance, or the abbreviation for resistance, is an R, or the symbol for is an R. And then the unit is the ohm. The abbreviation for the unit is the letter omega, this thing. And then we would read that, that the resistance is equal to 7 ohms. Okay, So that's the very basics of current voltage and resistance. That will help you to use those terms properly and to write things down properly. If you found that video helpful, you can give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching.